Hello everybody, this is the Daydreamer with Daydreams and Nightmares. And it is time for another unboxing. Um, it is Christmas time. I'm wearing an, uh, my newest um, ugly uh, sweater t-shirt. Uh, Doctor Strange I recently came in my uh, loot wear. Thought I'd wear a Christmas hat to celebrate the uh, holidays uh, with the rest of the videos that I have for this month. Um, it is Christmas time, and I did recently get a uh, gift card uh, for Barnes & Noble. Um, I live in a little four-bedroom house here, um, and uh, one of my little bedrooms I've basically turned into a library. Uh, that is because it is completely full of books, and I have tons and tons and tons of books that I haven't read. So when I went to go look at Barnes & Noble trying to find something to buy, um, and actually, th this I've had for about a box, and I'm going to unbox for you. I've had since the end of October. I um, just have not had a chance to get to it. So it was only a couple weeks after I had seen um, Miss Peregrine's School for Peculiar Children, and I really did enjoy the movie. I did read the book. So I did actually pick up the second book, um, and that will be in here. But I also uh, decided to spend the rest of the money that I'd gotten on some more pops. Um, apparently I can't have enough of those. Um, and if it was somebody, well, with a gift card, somebody else is doing the buy-in, so uh, that's great for me. Um, anyway, let's get to this. Open this up here. advertising in here that comes with it. Pull all that out of here. Set that aside. And I'll put this right next to me here. Like I said, the second book it was Hollow City. Uh, Miss Peregrine School for Peculiar Children. This is the second book in the series. Uh, looking forward to reading this. I did enjoy the first. It was a very good movie. Um, I'm hoping it had enough success that they can continue with it. I, I'm a big, huge Tim Burton fan, so I really did enjoy the movie and uh, look forward to reading the second part. And they've already put out the uh, Library of Souls, which is the third book in this. Um, but on to the pops. I picked up uh, four pops um, from Barnes & Noble, um, all from the different uh, fandoms that I'm uh, a, a big fan of. Sorry, I'm a little distracted here. It looks like there's a bunch of gunk on the corner of this box here. Um, I'm sure I might be able to clean it up, but kind of surprising to see something like that, but hey. Um, anyway, this is Doctor Who, uh, Jack Harkness. Dr. Jack, or uh, Jack Harkness is um, also a character from um, Torchwood, which is a spin-off of Doctor Who. But um, he's an actor that I really, really, really enjoy watching um, the different things that he has been in. Uh, we'll pull out Mr. Jack Harkness here, Doctor Who, got his trench coat on here, otherwise pretty, pretty simple mold here, but once again that's Jack Harkness from Doctor Who. Getting closer and closer to having all of the uh, Doctor Who line, and that's probably one full line I'll probably wind up getting a lot of. And speaking of which, got another one here from Doctor Who. This is the Silence, one of the villains. I look across here as well. Here's all the ones from the line. Silence. I think at this point I just don't have the ladies. Oh, and 
I don't have the uh, Jack Harkness from the uh, FYE exclusive either. Um, the one with the uh, transporter device. Anyway, let's get the silence out of here. Now the mold on this one is very different. This one I like. It's unusual. Set that aside here. Get him out. Set that down. Oh, he's got a very... There we go. And that is a pretty cool mold for his head. Basic common body there, but that is one big twisty noggin up there. Anyway. That is a cool pop. And a cool character from the Doctor Who series. And one more Doctor Who here. This is the eleventh Doctor. And not just the 11th Doctor, this is the 11th Doctor and Mr. Clever. The episode where he was taken over by cyborg technology and wound up basically playing a chess mass match against himself. Pull him out as well. Once again, this is the 11th Doctor. Once again, you had all that detailing of the cyborg technology that took over. Also on the hand here as well. And this is from a separate line as well. I don't know if I showed you on the back there. Uh, those are the ones that are available in that line. And of those, I think I have them all now. Uh, Pop in a Box got me the 12th Doctor with the guitar and the War Doctor, and I picked up uh, Davros. It's one of the very first ones I picked up, and I also, yeah, so I have that entire line now. Okay, and one more pop. I'll make this too long. This one is an oversized pop, and only my second Harry Potter pop. And of course, it is Rubius Hagrid. There we go. It is my third or fourth. The Davros is an oversized. The Tardis that I have is an oversized. And then the Job of the Hut 3 pack that I've shown a video of as well is also an oversized. Um, I think that's all that I have. Pull him out of here as well. And like I said, besides besides uh, Hagrid here, the only other uh, Harry Potter pop that I have is a Dementor which I actually ordered from um, Shirt Punch with one of my Shirt Punch cards and then wouldn't you know it I also got one in my uh, collector's case box so I actually have a duplicate Dementor first duplicate I ever got as well but this is really kinda cool I like Harry Potter I'm a big fan of the books and the movies and I'm happy to have Hagrid here as well but that is what I got myself with my Christmas gift card for Barnes and Noble. And uh, yeah, one book and four pops makes for a good Christmas for me. Um, speaking of Christmas, everybody please have a happy holiday and a Merry Christmas. If you like my video, uh, click like or if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. Leave a comment down below and uh, thank you for watching.